I studied engineering as an undergrad. I enjoyed engineering, but I knew that I wanted to do something a little bit more in the writing aspect of it, and I had always been interested in, in law. I got a clerkship at the Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit here in Washington, D.C., which is where all the patent cases go on appeal. After I finished my clerkship, I went over to the International Trade Commission as a staff attorney. Now, I litigate IP cases at the U.S. International Trade Commission. You can bring patent infringement cases at district court, but you can also bring them at the ITC if the products are being imported. Primarily, we at Perkins do more defense because that's who our clients are usually more getting sued. What we've seen happening more recently is that these, they call them patent assertion entities, they bring a lot of suits at the ITC because if they win and they get an order from customs barring the products from being imported, then they can get a settlement amount that would be much higher than like a damages in district court. Because it's so accelerated and everything goes so fast, you can lose a case just by being disorganized. The biggest thing that we try to do is hit the ground running and get our clients up to speed right away and moving very quickly. And then the other thing is that I think that we have really good relationships at the commission now. Some of the people who are judges now were my colleagues when I used to work as a staff attorney over there. We understand what to expect, what they're going to want, you know, which ways they're likely to rule, and I know who to pick up the phone and call over there if there's a problem or anything. So I think that gives us a big advantage too. I think what excites me the most about my practice is just that because the cases are so accelerated, I personally really enjoy that. There's that sort of thrill, it's kind of a, almost like a high wire act in a way. I think it's really important for us to make sure that the client understands the risks and the benefits, basically, so that they can make a business decision.